So today I'm going to be doing the very first video of this new series that I came up with that I'm going to be doing on my channel. What it's going to be, it's going to be called My Favorite Things. And I'm going to do the first one today, which is high-end products. So it's going to be all my favorite things that are high-end products. And then I'll do my favorite things, drugstore products, my favorite things, eye products, my favorite things, makeup brushes, my favorite things, hair products, like anything I can think of really. Whatever, anything that you guys can think of that I can think of that I can do in this, ser in this series. And today I'm going to be doing the first one and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it and it's going to be my favorite high-end products. I do have quite a few because I do tend to lean more towards using high-end products most of the time. They're definitely worth spending more on because they're better quality and they last longer. I already filmed this like last week or so, but then I was importing it and I thought I imported my clips. I've done this so many times, like you would think I would learn the first few times. I started to delete the, the clips like the next time I went to go film a video. So then I was like, oh, I've already imported them and I deleted it and then I was like, wait, no I haven't. So I deleted like the first chunk and it was like probably like a whole third of the video. So yeah, here I am redoing it. I'm going to start off with face products and I have two favorite high-end foundations. Both of them are worth every single penny and the first one is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and it, this is the first liquid foundation that I ever tried. I love it so much. It's probably their most high coverage foundation. I like high coverage. Like what I'm wearing now, I'm not wearing the MAC one right now, but as you can see I like to go for a more high coverage look. I don't like my face to look super duper unnatural, but this is like the perfect amount of coverage for me. I don't like it to be super natural. I just like to wear high coverage foundation. That's just what I like. I like to have a flawless base and that's that's just what I like. That's why I really like this one because it is high coverage, but it's buildable so you can have it like lighter, not like super duper high coverage, but then you can like build it up and make it a lot thicker than it is on its own, I guess. I've searched my computer and I can't find the clip where I'm talking about my next favorite, but it is the Narsher Glow Foundation. I love it so much. I highly recommend it. It gives a very nice finish and it has the perfect coverage in my opinion. It is sheer enough to where you can see freckles and other natural skin things, but it also covers up imperfections at the same time. It is pretty expensive. It costs about $40, but it's worth every single penny because it lasts about three to four months. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's my favorite foundation for the summertime because it isn't super heavy, but it does cover up everything I want it to. And since it's so expensive, I usually only wear it during the summertime. And then I switch back to my MAC for winter and fall and like the rest of the year. But it does give my skin a very, very nice glow. I am also wearing it in this video and in my last few I've used it. Um, I also did a tutorial using it if you'd like to check that out. But that's just a little bit about the NARS foundation since I cannot find the clip anywhere. Next thing is, once again, another face product, and this is a concealer, and it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's all of my favorite YouTube gurus. I heard all of them raving about this for so long, so I went ahead and caved in. Literally, probably the best decision of my life, like makeup-wise, I guess. And it is so, so, so great. It is incredible. This is literally the best concealer I have ever used, and I have used quite a few. Whenever I find things that look good underneath my eye and are really brightening, they do a terrible job at covering up pimples. The ones that cover up pimples are cakey underneath the eyes. And this literally is everything in one. It is perfect. It's great for under eye. It's great to put like if you want to like highlight your face a little bit with the concealer. It's great if you want to cover up blemishes. It is just perfect for everything. It actually doesn't have too thick of a consistency. Like for concealer, it has a fairly thin consistency, but it gives you great, great coverage and it's very brightening and it's literally perfect. The other great thing about it is that a little bit goes a long ways with it. You don't need a ton. Another great thing about it is that it has a pump. It's already built in. You don't even have to buy another one or anything. It's already built in, so I love the packaging. The next thing is another face product, and this one is by Benefit, and I'm sure you can guess what it is. It is my Hoola bronzer, and I love this so much. I raved about it in so many videos, actually two, <laughs> two videos. I love it so much. I recently hit pan on it, and I, I cried a little, not really, but I, my heart was crying. It is so perfect, and it's really not that bad of a price. I wanna say it's $26, I could be wrong. I think it's $26. It's so long lasting. Like I've literally had this for about six months now and I'm not even like, I'm not even done with it. I hit pan on it, but I'm not done with it. Bronzers are really, really hard for me. It's fine because I'm so pale. A lot of them will look really orangey or just like dirty. And this one is perfect. Like it doesn't look, like you guys can look at it right now, like it just doesn't look orange. I just, this is perfect. Perfect for contouring. Absolutely perfect for contouring. Like literally it is, because it's so natural looking, like it would really work for anyone, but it's really great for us 
kill people. By the way, it's not sponsored. None of the stuff that I'm saying in here is sponsored or anything. Like literally, like uh, yeah, but nothing in here is sponsored. I've never, I've never actually been sponsored by like an actual makeup brand other than Sigma brushes. I'm an affiliate of them, but yeah, I've never. That's yeah, fun fact. Next thing, another face product. This one is from Mac. I feel like most of my high-end things are gonna be from Mac. So it is a blush, and it is in Learn to Love and. This one was part of the holiday edition, or the holiday, holiday, the holiday collection. I love it. I have another MAC blush. It is in Dainty, and this one is not part of any fancy collection. It is there all the time. They're both mineralized blush, but I guess just, you know, whichever color of these, I cannot live without any of these. These are literally, MAC blushes are perfect. They are totally, totally worth the money. I can't think how much they are. I want to say around $30, somewhere between $20 and $35 probably, but they're so worth it. Like literally, I've had this one since, probably since like before I started my channel actually, which was like about a year and a half ago. It was November of 2012. I wore this one every single day until I got this one, which was like this year around Christmas time, but I still do wear this one quite, a, quite often. I've literally worn this almost every day for a year and a half and I haven't hit pan, and it does not look like I'm even close to hitting pan. They last forever and ever and ever. Watch now that I said that I'm gonna hit pan on it tomorrow, I'd bet you a million dollars. So, they are very, very long lasting. They're super duper pigmented. They're just the prettiest color. Like, they're not too much. They're not too shimmery. They're not like, they're just really, really great blushes. And I tried quite a few different blushes, actually, a few. I really like the Milani ones as well. Next thing is eyes. My absolute most favorite product of any product ever in the entire world probably would be this. Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. And I know I've talked about it in quite a few different videos. I'm really shocked that my first video wasn't this because that's what I originally had planned on doing. This is like literally probably my inspiration for starting a YouTube channel. This palette is literally my entire life. Like I cannot even tell you. They recently they redid it so now it's in like a metal container and they switched up some of the colors which I mean some of them I'm kind of happy about but not all of them my most favorite eyeshadow of all time right is right here and it is the Silk Teddy eyeshadow and it's a really beautiful champagne peachy shimmery just gorgeous gorgeous color I have bought so many eyeshadows trying to match it up I've gotten the Stilla Kitten I have bought in Botten is not a word, Emily. I have bought the Stilla Kitten eyeshadow. I've bought a few Urban Decay eyeshadows, MAC eyeshadows that I tried to match up to it, L'Oreal eyeshadows I've tried to match up, Maybelline eyeshadows. I have tried, literally every eyeshadow I own probably is me trying to match up to that color. I have yet to find one that is like a perfect match. Like obviously that's pretty much impossible. Stilla Kitten is the closest. I cannot even tell you guys how much I love that eyeshadow color. But yeah, even without this one, I still love everything else because Heaven is like probably the most perfect highlight color. That's such a great brow color. It's a really good transition color as well. It is a wonderful darkening color. It's like really buildable, so you put it in and it's really easy to like blend out and everything. And it can be like pretty subtle. Like right now I have it on and this is a super duper natural look and I just like used a teeny teeny bit. But it can also really, really like make an eye look, look really dramatic and you can do a lot with it. I love the push up color. That's my favorite shimmery brown color. I've actually bought a lot of the eyeshadows trying to match up to that one as well. Like the Urban Decay Toasted is almost a perfect match. I, I've spent literally probably hours in Sephora trying to match these up. I'm not even kidding. Honey Pot, also one of my favorites. It's very, very similar to the Urban Decay Half Baked color. And then Cocoa Puff, and these last two shimmery brown colors I don't use quite as much. However, I do really like them. I just don't use them as much. They also have like these little cards in here that like explain how to like wear some of the eyeshadows and give you like inspiration for them, which I bought this. This was like my very first like real like high-end makeup product. I just love them. It's so perfect. I've bought so many. Literally, <laughs> I'm not lying when I tell you it's my favorite. Do you see this? That is four of them. This was when they used to be really big and they came with eyeshadow brushes. The two are two newer ones and then there's one in my sister's room. But the reason I haven't threw these old ones away is because I still have some of these left. And the next thing is another eyeshadow palette and it's more of like a brand rather than like one single palette. It is the Urban Decay Naked Palette and this is the Naked, Naked 2, and Naked 3. This, the Naked 1 or Naked, just like the plain original one is actually my sister's. It's not mine, but we share a lot of our makeup and stuff. And then these two are both mine. I got this one last Christmas and this one I got this Christmas and they are just so so incredible. I think they're like my favorite like palette palettes. My favorite like bigger eye makeup eye makeup palette if that makes sense. There's just so much and there's three different ones and they all have different tones. The first one is all like goldy tones. Like obviously that's not gold but they all have like a gold like 
yeah, a gold tone to them. The second one is more like gray, grayish, purpley, taupey kind of tones. And then the third one is rose gold. The third one is probably definitely my favorite of the three. Actually, the first one I really like. And again, I love my naked too. I don't really know. I cannot pick a favorite. I would repurchase these. These aren't really like something you would have to repurchase because it's not like you're going to really use them up. Even if like... There's a couple of these that I use every day, but a lot of them you can buy individually. So these aren't really things that you'd have to repurchase. I mean, you could if you really, really used it, but they really do last you forever. They're great to like experiment, you know, and kind of like find out what you like, because it gives you like a little bit of each color. They're all so, so pigmented, and each and every single one of them is really, really high quality. So you're getting a ton of high quality eyeshadows in like one like thing, if that makes sense. Anyways, yeah, so I love, 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 love the Naked palettes. I would recommend them to everybody. The next thing is the MAC Paint Pot, which I actually don't own any. And this little tiny sample of Soft Ochre, okay, actually it's not little tiny, she filled the entire thing full, so I really thank you so much. This sample I've had for probably a month now, and it's about halfway gone, and it is just incredible. This is the Soft Ochre, if I'm saying that right. And I've heard so many people rave about it, and it is definitely as good as people say it is. It's just, it's just a great eye base. I love it because it's matte. I wouldn't normally go for a shimmery eyeshadow base just because it's going to turn matte color. It's going to like, matte colors aren't going to stay matte if you have a shimmery base. It just makes, it does not crease at all. And that's just like the perfect everyday color for a paint pot. Like a lot of the other products that I'm mentioning, they last forever. They really, really do. Like just this tiny little sample has lasted me like a month. They are totally, totally worth money. I've never actually bought one myself, but I'm going to as soon as I run out of my sample. Okay, the next thing that I have is another eye product and it is the Mary Kay Eye Primer and I didn't really consider it Mary Kay High End until I thought about it because like I get it half off so it's fairly cheap for me but I guess the original prices are quite expensive and this is the Mary Kay Eye Primer in Invisible and I've used this probably in every single one of my videos except for my last one which I probably used the Soft Ochre in because that's fairly new to me, the MAC Paint Pots. If you're just looking for a really good eye primer and you don't like paint pots or anything, this is absolutely fantastic. I would recommend it to anybody. I've used this for years. I've used that primer since I started wearing makeup and just up until like about a month ago when I started trying the MAC Paint Pots. So this is just really good for an everyday eye primer. It doesn't really have any color to it. It's just really, it's a great base for your eyeshadows. They stick really nicely to it and it doesn't crease at all. It's perfect. Last but not least is lip products. Yay! I only have like one sort of two. It's just MAC lipsticks. Any of them. I have a couple like two that I like picked out or whatever like the few that I've used. They are just they are so 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 great. I haven't I'm not usually a huge lipstick person. I'm just now kind of getting into them. I just never really I kind of just neglected my lips. I was all into eyes and I was trying out face products and I've never really thought about my lips until like recently. I tried the MAC lipstick in Peach Blossom and it was just like their regular lipsticks and that just got me hooked on them because they're so smooth and creamy. They don't chap my lips at all which is kind of a problem of mine because I have really super duper chapped lips and I just have a really hard time keeping them moisturized. The MAC ones do not dry them out at all. I just love them. They're all, they have so so many shades to pick from but every single one I've tried I've never like not liked. I'll just tell you guys what my favorite shades are and then I think that will be it. My first favorite is the MAC Mineralize Lipstick which is like a little bit more expensive than just like the regular one. It is in Bold Spring and that's what I'm wearing now which is kind of rubbed off. It's a really really bold color however it is very wearable. If you want it you can even just like apply just a tiny bit and just like rub it in with your finger and it'll just give you like a tint of that color. You can definitely make it very bold which is what I'm doing today because the rest of my face is fairly natural. It's very it definitely is pretty wearable and it's so creamy. It's totally, totally worth the money. So then for the regular lips, and then for the regular lipsticks, I love the color Peach Blossom, Sunny Suelle, and Florida Coral. So I think that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys would like me to do more of these like favorite things, or if you guys would like to see like my favorite drugstore products of all times, like kind of like this, but a drugstore product version, then do let me know because I would love to film it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Don't forget to leave me video suggestions below telling me what you would like to see on my channel because I want some new videos to film and I just don't know what to do and I would like to know what you guys would like to see. So thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Um, not your mother's brand. They have Is this for both of us or just for you? <gasps> oh, and don't forget to leave me video suggestions below telling me what you would like to see on my channel because I want some new videos to film and I just don't know what to do and I would like to know what you guys would like to see. So thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye!